family, lucky, lucky me, I just recorded this video and with all of my best of luck, my SD card corrupted and I lost the whole thing. Waste of time, but all good fun. We did unfortunately miss me pulling everything off the bed, what I'm about to talk about, etc, etc. So we'll start from scratch. Uh, this is a video for you, Tessa, from Sparky Face 5, uh, in relation to your call for action regarding your uh, hashtag 3D printed block suit. This is my contribution, albeit a little bit late, but I thought I'd have a go. So, my last video, we did go and pull it off the bed and do a clean up on the spot, a quick clean up on the spot, but this is gonna be a shorter, quicker version. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at how it turned out, see what we reckon. This is him, or her. Um, as I say, I did print with a little brim, which has now obviously been removed. But this is what we're looking at, guys. Pretty happy with how he or she turned out. First time I've ever designed a model with, oh, let's get focus back there. First time I've designed a model with moving parts. So again, really impressed with the fact that that, that kind of worked out uh, off the bat. Sure from that, I don't, I don't know what to call him. Uh, in fact, I will mention again that I am having a little bit of an issue. I'm not sure if you guys can see that with what you'd kind of consider would be missing layers, like a very prominent down at the bottom here. What I will do is I'll take a, a, a closer up photo. Um, but there are sort of, again, what, what, you, what you'd call missing layers there. Again, up here, it's certainly not missing layers, not in the program. It's very consistent with a lot of my prints at the moment. I'm not sure if it's due to tension uh, on my filament as it's feeding. I'm not sure if it's, um, potentially a flow issue. Um, I'm really, yeah, open to open to some info. If you guys have an idea of what it could be, then please, please let me know, because it's got me a bit, a bit bothered at the moment, uh, purely because I've been trying to print, uh, at print that thing's 3D printed hat for a little while, and I've successfully printed it a few times, but I do have issues with, with strength, purely because of just these, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what it is, because in blocks here, in solid blocks, the, it's really solid, it's really beautiful. Um, it's purely only when we start looking at sort of overhangs or columns and that kind of thing, for some reason it just doesn't seem to fill, fill it in properly. And I'm not too sure why that is. So this does need a bit more of a clean up. I did print with a brim which hasn't been properly removed yet, as you can see there. Uh, this is his little wings which, which are independent from the piece itself, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I also really like the way sort of the layers have given it some really cool texture, it really represents kind of cool wings, you know, really like that. Um, his little eyes look pretty cool, his little mouth looks alright. We did have a casualty here, his, his both front feet fell off. So again, that's my issue I'm having uh, highlighted on the, in that exact spot on that angle. Uh, how was it printed? It was printed on that orientation, this is the front of the bed. So this is the front of the bed. So it was printed facing forward. Um, so I'm not too sure if that has anything to do with it. Again, any suggestions, more than happy to listen to, and I will try pretty much anything to fix that. But um, I'm gonna have another try printing and try and get it right for Tessa um, in time for Sunday. And this is gonna be a gift for you on Sunday, Tessa, a contribution to your 3D printed block suit. So thanks again, guys. Check out uh, some of my other videos if you're keen. And again, please feel free to comment if you've got any suggestions on, on how to get these prints looking even cooler and, and even more successful. Thanks again guys, happy printing, peace peace, bye.